What is up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It is your boy Steven Scoots. Hope you're having a phenomenal, phenomenal day so far. It's currently cloudy in Vegas, as you guys see. And uh, we are back at this spot right here that uh, I haven't ridden at in about one month. But I'm here to get some good clips and stuff. I'm here for a good sesh. I hope you are here for a good sesh. And let's get right into the warm up. I have got to cut my hair, it's too long. The next couple of vlogs you're gonna see me with short hair again. But, I'm out of breath, that warm up was amazing, it was exquisite. And uh, <laughs> we are going to now jump over this right here. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to do bigger and better tricks than I did what I did last time. There we go, I messed up my wording, but you know what I said. It's cold, but the sun's out and it's like a little warm and it's like in the middle, it's like having a, uh, like a, like you ever wake up from like sleeping or a nap and it's like hot sweats, that's what I'm like feeling right now. It's like, it's, it's cold, but it's hot, it's in the middle. It's a crazy, crazy weather in Vegas. But now we are gonna move over to another spot to go ride. We are gonna grab a couple clips here. I swear the days are even, are they're just getting a lot colder now. And it's December and it doesn't feel that cold yet, but I know it's gonna be super cold, especially when it hits like January and February, it's probably gonna be super cold as well in Vegas, but that's fine, cause we're still gonna be outside mobbing and riding all the time. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys real quick because uh, my friend Pookie, my, be my best friend Pookie, uh, I just gotta tell you guys, I haven't seen him in the last two to three months, almost three month period. And while I was riding 14 miles uphill to take care of what I need to for the day, um, I ran into him by the weirdest, weirdest way. So this is exactly what happened. So that day I was like, I'm gonna go out at six in the morning or nine in the morning and I'm gonna go ride, I'm gonna go film and then I'm gonna go and ride uphill and go take care of what I need to take care of. But I started procrastinating. I didn't even get out of bed. I was just like watching YouTube videos and like editing a tiny bit, but not, not really going out to ride Like I had the motivation, but I was just like, okay one more hour one more hour one more hour and the time never came And I had to leave to go do what I needed to do and I took a very weird route when I went to go up there I, I took a very weird route that I never ever ever usually take and it was very uh, it was very weird awkward Coincidence day that that happened and I know it happened because you know life put it there to happen but it, it was just so weird I'm like I'm I'm just getting up to cross one of the stoplights and while I'm crossing I look to my left to make sure there's no car look to my right look to my left again and look at who is it look at who it is coming up the street to the exact same light that I am crossing at the moment Pookie he has brand new uh, NV Union bars 
Uh, I, I don't know what type of grips. He has like one peg. He got his he got his scooter back up and running so he's able to go ride, which we are gonna grab clips in the next like day or so. But um, I ended up talking with him for about 10, 15-ish minutes and then we started riding uphill and he rode with me uh, for a little bit more than half of the way and then he had to go and take off to do some of his stuff. But it was just such an awkward coincidence and I would love to know in the comments down below, let me know. Have you ever had that weird coincidence day that like you procrastinate or you do something and then you see a friend or you see a family member or someone you haven't seen in a, in, in a while and they pop up very randomly in your life at a very weird timing and it's it's cool, it's grateful and I love it. I didn't get to see him in like forever and it, it, I really appreciate it. Like, to like talk with him and ride with him a little bit. Uh, I think late, yeah, later that day, we went to ride as well at the skate park. I didn't really film, I really just wanted to talk, really wanted to hang out and just enjoy myself. And then we ended up going to Desert Breeze and I ended up filming there and that vlog was out, that vlog was out about like one week ago. But I just felt like I had to come on here and tell you guys this because it felt like some type of deja vu in some type of way. And, um, it's very, very awkward day for me, but I would love to know if you had one of those days. Let me know in the comments down below.